I want to recognize someone in this country, a Guyanese by birth, who I think all Guyana owes a huge debt for her contribution that she has been making in this country from the beginning of this oil sector. Myself and staff of this newspaper have learned tremendously from her experience and knowledge of this oil industry. She has single-handedly done what all the leaders in this country are afraid to do. She has seen the advantage that ExxonMobil did to us with those environmental permits for projects in the Stabrook block. After going through the permits, she found that the time frame on the life of permits was against the laws of our country. Our law spells out very clearly that no permit should exceed five years. But our leaders give ExxonMobil 20 years. This lady took that matter before our courts and won. Our judge ruled that the time frame of 20 years must be revoked and replaced with what the laws of Guyana mandates, which is five years. It's like a driver's license valid for only five years. Them give ExxonMobil 20 years license. What that means to us, brothers and sisters, some of you may want to ask that question. Five years, Exxon has to come back to us for renewals of those permits. And we have the keys to hold them accountable and ask for better terms when reviewing the permits. We can get them to put more safeguards in place to make sure we don't get screwed further. We can use that renewal to wring their hands for our people to get them to put in, to put in place like full cover insurance and so on. We can use that leverage to do that. That's the reason, that's the reason they want a long term permit. So they don't have to run back every five years to Guyana. Last week again, she and another local lawyer named Bert Smith filed a case in the High Court seeking a declaration that ExxonMobil's projects are harmful and thus violate the rights of every man, woman, and child in this country. The right to a clean and healthy environment. So far, ExxonMobil has burnt over 14 billion cubic feet of gas and in so doing polluted our air space with poisonous chemicals that can lead to sickness in this land. The court action is being led by this great woman Melinda Janke. I think we all owe this fine Guyanese citizen a huge thank you. She left this country since she was seven years old, lived, studied, and worked all her life in England, and has returned and settled here in her homeland, fighting for all of us. She's a brilliant lawyer and a very passionate advocate 
for protecting the environment. And I want to tell her, on behalf of all of us here at Kaicho News, a huge thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know some of you would also like to express the same sentiments. So my dear Melinda, on behalf of all the Guyanese people, a big, big thank you. Please continue to fight with us. Help us. We need your wisdom and experience to tackle this lopsided contract that eggs on through on us so that our brothers and sisters in this land can have a better and good life. Thanks once again.